What's going on guys? So I've been getting a lot of requests to do this topic once again. I've done this topic a few times on this channel, but um, I don't know. It's just, it's super popular. It's what people want for the most part in this audience that watch fragrance videos. So today I'm bringing you, and I, and I tried to narrow it down to the absolute 10 best. Maybe not necessarily the 10 that have gotten me the most all time, but 10 of the best compliment getting beast mode fragrances in my collection some of these are pretty new i've got some cheap stuff we got some niche stuff we got some clone stuff we got some designer stuff we got a little bit of everything here there's something for everyone in this tin so stay tuned Starting with one of the newest to my collection, I can't stop raving about this fragrance. I'm probably going to wear it at the day this video goes live. It's probably going to be a day. It's Rasasi Hawass. Basically, Middle Eastern Spice and Invictor. Has that sweet aquatic vibe going for it that the original Invictus is known for with a little bit of an aqua extra aquatic hit because some people like to compare this to Invictus Aqua 2016. And then there's a lovely warm spice and actually a little bit of an incense -y, smoky accord that comes off on my skin, though nothing related to that in the notes. This stuff is potent. When I first got it, I was doing my typical standard five sprays when I'm seeing how a fragrance is going to react, see if I can increase to get a more desirable performance where it doesn't overwhelm me because I like to spray my bare chest under my shirt. Or do I need to dial it back? And in this instance, actually five sprays was a little too much. I dialed it back to where now I pretty much wear four sprays when I wear this one. This stuff is crazy strong. I've worn it a little over a handful of times, and I've gotten a little over a handful of compliments already. This stuff just attracts people. Synthetic, sure, but super pleasant in the air. Just a magnetic type of scent and aroma. Rasasi Hawass has you covered. And like I said, you can get them $40 to $50 depending on where you can find them. Um, I'll try to find links for everything down below in the description for you guys because I know if I don't, a lot of you are going to be asking for it. But, man, I was late to the party on this one. This has been around for many years now, since 2015, actually. But, man, this stuff is great. If you're looking for a cheap beast that pulls in compliments, look no further than Rasasi Hawass. Next, I've heard rumblings of this being discontinued. You can still find them for a very good price. $50 or less, depending on bottle size. From Discounters Online, this is basically Bulgari Aqua meets Versace Dylan Blue. It's like the very aquatic, saltwater marine version of Dylan Blue. That is Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. This stuff never ceases to amaze me. This is an 8 to 10 hour fragrance and then some for some people in that nine hour range for me on my skin before it gets pretty faint for the most part. Uh, but projection is crazy strong in the first two to three hours with this fragrance and it pulls in the compliments in my experience. I have multiple bottles of this. Uh, I have another 100 milliliter bottle as well. Um, and also a half a milliliter travel size because it's a gift set that I have as my, you know, stash, I guess you could say for when I, this either spoils, which is still many years away from, based on storing proper storage and somebody's going to ask me cool dry place out of sunlight where temperature doesn't drastically change that's what you want as long as you can achieve that you should extend the shelf life of your fragrances because uh, i've had this one for many years you can see it's it's got its fair share of missing fragrance oil uh, this stuff is just so aquatic it's such a by the beach scent it's scream summertime but powerful summertime type of vibes here this is a by the beach fragrance saltwater marine aquatic type of stuff there's sea notes here there's some citruses there's some woods but it kind of smells like bulgari aqua the original that saltwater marine aquatic that kind of started this whole shindig mixed with the famed versace dylan blue it has that richness 
of Versace Dylan Blue. Really, really good stuff. Another one, very affordable. Um, like I said, I can't confirm or deny, but I've heard rumblings that this is discontinued, um, but they're still out there for a very affordable place, price. And this could be that one, on, one and only fragrance that you need for summer because if you're looking for something that people are going to love the way you smell and want to tell you how good you smell, you're going to like the way you smell. It performs great, and you're not going to spend a lot of money. Check out Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. It will do the job. Next, we have a clone fragrance. Possibly the most popular clone fragrance out in the market. You can get it in the 30-ish dollar range. It's a little over 100 milliliter in fragrance oil in the bottle. It's a beast performer. Yes, it's harsh and synthetic in the top. There are other versions of it that are more expensive, but this, the, the Eau de Toilette just does the trick. This is 10 to 12 hours on my skin, and I get a compliment pretty much every time I wear it. We're talking about Smoky Magic. This is Armoff. Club de Nuit Intense Man. This is the original Eau de Toilette. No, I haven't tried the Eau de Parfum or the Limited Edition Parfum. I've heard it smooths out that harsh synthetic lemon opening, which I actually find quite charming about this fragrance. I always have. It's some good stuff. Definitely starts to dry into a Creed Aventus smell. Just a much more dark and smoky version. Very birch and black currant heavy. The difference here is that lemon opening, because lemon's not found in actual Creed Aventus. So this isn't a one-to-one -one copy, but it's pretty close. It performs better than Creed Aventus batches over the last, you know, two or three years. It's a fraction of the cost. It's just so good. It really is. This stuff's a compliment magnet, and it's such a good performer. Um, I've heard people get as low as eight hours on their skin. I've heard people get as high as 18 to 16 hours on their skin. I fall somewhere in that 10 and 12 range, which is a certified beast. And for being around $30 to $35, it's a certified cheap beast that pulls in compliments. That's why I had to have it in this video i was trying to narrow it down to the best what i consider to be the best of the best and in my opinion if you're looking to not spend a lot of money you're looking for a beast that just people just want to talk about is it going to pull a compliment every time you wear it not necessarily everybody's experience is going to be different but these fragrances they raise that probability in my experience especially fragrances like our moth club de nuit intense man Next, we have a niche fragrance on the list. Now, you can get this in the sub $100 range. So for being a higher-end luxury fragrance, it's not crazy expensive. It's actually on the more affordable side for a luxury fragrance. And it's a gourmand feel for being an oud fragrance. It's not too oudy. Those of you that have smelled uh, luxury high-end level ouds, you know what I'm talking about. Because it's more of a synthetic oud that Montal and Marincera use. It's a bit more wearable. It's not too barnyardy and stanky type of oud. It's more warm wood, medicinal. Um, this particular oud used has a little bit of a dry wood pencil shaving vibe. I'm talking about Montal Honey Oud. This is my favorite from the house. This stuff is amazing. It's delicious. Oh my god, it smells so freaking good. And it's stupid powerful. It's crazy, ridiculous, unnecessarily powerful. If you're looking for the beast of the beast of the beast in this video, this is the beast of the beast of the beast. This is the most powerful fragrance in this video. This is 12 plus, 12 plus hours in longevity, super hardcore projection. If you're a heavy sprayer, you're going to fill the room and choke everybody out for sure. People 20 feet away are going to pay you a nice compliment. People five feet away are going to say, oh my God, you're wearing too much. <laughs> so just being real with you. Um, it's like taking some oud, coating it with honey, shaving a little bit of vanilla on top, sprinkling some cinnamon with a warm amber glaze to go that's kind of mixed into that honey. That's what you're going to get here. It's a little dusty and powdery. It's sweet. It's thick and dense. It's very unisex. Anybody can wear this. And it's not a challenging oud that still has a pretty pronounced and in the forefront oud note. It's a beautiful fragrance. It really is. And like I said, you can find these... He wears in the $70, $80 range for a 100 milliliter bottle. And trust me, 100 milliliters is going to go a long way. If you spray accordingly because of the power this thing has, it's going to last you a long time. The epitome of a beast that gets compliments is Montal Honey Oud. Next, we're going back blue. This is definitely a beast that pulls in the con this is a compliment magnet it's known to be it's been most people's experiences from conversations i've had across social media and with a few of my friends in person that wear this fragrance it's just 
It's a go-to for a lot of people. It's YSL, YEDP. The Eau de Parfum Flanker. This stuff just works. Apple Sage, Ambergris, Sweet, screams off my skin. This is another one, 8 to 10 hours solid with 3 hours of pretty, well, 2 hours of very heavy projection going into a third hour of pretty moderate projection before it starts to sit closer to the skin and have a decent trail, a, what I would consider a moderate scent trail after the three hour mark. This stuff is stupid good. And I'm sorry I keep using that for some reason. I guess it's word of the day, I guess. But compliment magnet, that's a beast. Um, not the most affordable option, but not the most expensive option in this video either. But price versus performance. And if, like I said, if compliments are important to you, that's why you're watching this video in the first place. This has a pretty strong compliment factor. It really does. It's more on the synthetic side, but out in the air, this is very enjoyable. Your buddies around, you're going to think you smell great. Your girl's going to think you smell great. Passers by, for the most part, are going to think you smell great. Like I said before, is everybody that smells you going to stop and stop you and tell you you smell nice? Eh, that's pretty unlikely. I'm not saying it can't happen, but the probability of somebody telling you smell nice, it's heightened with fragrances like this because it has the power to really reach out and make that many more people smell you than a more subdued fragrance. So if that kind of stuff's important to you, you want a beast that pulls in compliments. I mean, this was a no-brainer for this video. Because that's exactly what it does. YSLY EDP is a beast that pulls in compliments. Next, we have another clone that is so good, I wouldn't even bother looking for the original that goes for about $500 on eBay and places like that. It's been discontinued for many years, and it fetches a pretty penny. I would just go for Bond Number no. 9's Andy Warhol. I would just go with Central Obsession's version because it is that good. This bottle is one of their much older 60 ml bottles one of the original batches and this is one of the newer bottles they smell pretty much identical and perform like wow performance you know um very dense strong beautiful light oud in the background but it's all about the plum that's why there's plums on this label it's all about this juicy fruit sweet thick plum note there's some other woods going on there's a little bit of oud there's other supporting notes there's a touch of spice back there but my god this is if you're only going to try one fragrance from sensual obsessions i've said this so many times it absolutely needs to be andy warhol it's so good guys and this is a i mean if you're getting even eight and nine hours out of this fragrance, your skin's just absorbing it and drinking this stuff because it's absurdly powerful. It's not going to fill the room unless you spray it a little bit heavier. The projection's very strong, but you have to go beyond that five, six, seven, and beyond spray range to fill a room. If you're the type that likes to fill a room when you walk in it in the first few hours of wearing a fragrance. This is definitely capable of it. You just spray accordingly. But the thing that's crazy about it is the longevity. This stuff sticks to my skin like glue, both versions, and other decanted versions of different batches I've tried over the years because it's pretty much perfected now at this point. It was phenomenal from the start, but it's been tweaked enough to where it's pretty much perfection in this bottle. If you like sweet fragrances and you want something that's not every other sweet fragrance, because Andy Warhol's Bond Number no. 9 was a very distinctive sweet fragrance, this is, in my experience, the best clone out there of it. Performance-wise, accuracy, and honestly, it's probably a little bit better than the original. I've only smelled the original one time at a friend's house, and it was on a test strip. It wasn't even on skin. So based on what I remember, this just smells better, even on a test strip. And it's so much more affordable, it's not even funny. So if you're looking for an affordable, cheap beast that's kind of unique, definitely pulls in some compliments, check out Sensual Obsessions' version of Bond Number no. 9, Andy Warhol. Honestly, the original Eau de Toilette, the EDP, and the Parfum could go right here. They all perform great. They're all beastly on my skin. Even the Parfum, you go, I go nose blind to it. You don't realize how strong that fragrance actually is. But there's just something so sexy about this one compared to the others. 
I think it's because it's so warm and spicy. It's got that extra seduction that maybe is lacking in the other versions. I'm talking about Dior Sauvage Elixir. This stuff is remarkably good. And it's super potent. This makes the original Eau de Toilette, and I have a February 2015 batch of the original Eau de Toilette, back when it was a crazy two to three spray beast room filler, okay? This stuff makes that stuff look kind of watered down because this just goes and goes and goes and goes, and it's so consistent with its projection. Yes, in the first hour to two hours, it's really, really strong, but it starts to settle in after that two-hour mark to a pretty solid scent bubble. The sillage on this one is very stout. It's got a pretty large bubble, not an obnoxious scent bubble where you walk by somebody 10 feet away from them and they smell you, but it's enough to within arm's reach that it's thick in the air. It lingers. There's room for opportunity for people to smell you all over the place when you have just five or six sprays of this fragrance on. Because the sillage is so consistent, the scent bubble and the trail are just magnificent. This stuff is great. Very faint resemblance to the Sauvage line. There is a little bit of the DNA in there, even though Ambroxan and things like that are not listed in the notes. I do relate it to the Sauvage family, though being the least favorable in comparison to similarities of, among the rest of them because the Parfum, the EDP, and the EDT smell much more related to one another than the Elixir does, I have to admit. But judging it as a standalone fragrance, this stuff is crazy good. Yes, it's very expensive. Retails $160, $155 for this two-ounce bottle. You can get them discounted a little bit easier now. It's been a while since it came out last year in 2021, and there are some great clones of it. But at the end of the day, you really need to try the first, the original first before you even consider looking for alternatives. Spend some time with it on your skin and experience what this fragrance has to offer. You may not even want to look at a clone because this stuff's really, really good. Is everybody going to just rave over it like I am? Not necessarily because not every person feels the exact same way about every fragrance, nor do they have the exact same experience. But my experience with this and its clones, hell, even... Making Sense version 4.0 Elixir I have right here, which is a great affordable clone version of this fragrance. Smells almost one-to-one. -one. It performs about the same. It pulls in compliments. It really does. It's something about that spice, and the performance is next level absurd. It's almost, almost as powerful as Montal's Honey Oud, which is the most powerful fragrance in this video. Get your nose on this stuff. Get out to a department store and smell it. Get yourself a carded sample. I had a carded sample before I got my hands on this because it's not blind buy safe because it's so expensive for a two ounce designer fragrance. But I'll tell you what, in my opinion, one of the best designer fragrances released in recent memory, Dior Sauvage Elixir. So around 40 bucks from Discounters Online will get you this crazy popular designer fragrance. Built for evening wear, it's sweet and fresh, it's spicy, it's warm and ambery. There's a nice smooth tobacco in the background that comes in once it starts to dry. This is built for the night. Night is in the name. It's a Zorro. Wanted by night. This is my big old five ounce bottle. My stepson has a 30 ml. I paid 40 bucks for it right before Christmas, the Christmas that just passed um, from Kingdom Fragrances. And around $40 is kind of going rate from discounters online uh, for 100 ml. And 100 ml is plenty because you don't need a whole lot of sprays of this fragrance. Is it synthetic? Sure. Does it get really cheap because it's an Azaro fra designer fragrance? Absolutely, especially mass produced on the level of this fragrance because of its popularity. Are there other people out there wearing it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's crazy popular. But what's the likelihood of the guy standing next to you wearing it, really? So don't let that stuff detour you because when it comes to pulling in compliments, there's a reason this stuff is crazy powerful because it reaches out and grabs people. This stuff, now look, not every lady on the planet thinks this stuff smells good. I've seen blind smelling rates where this got shot to the ground. Looking at you, Gobbery. Shout out to Justin Copeland's channel. So she was not a fan of this. There's exceptions to the rule. Not everybody likes everything, and that proves it. But for the most part, this is a very, very 
Very popular fragrance because it's powerful and people love the way it smells. I mean, that's why we're watching this video. That's why I'm talking about these fragrances to you guys. Because this is an important topic. Do I think it's the end-all, be-all, and most important thing out there? No, I think smell is a number one. Performance comes in a close second, which would fall into beast mode fragrances. And pulling compliments, while, yes, it's I love when somebody wants to tell me I smell good, it's a brief opportunity to have a conversation about my fragrance, or at the very least, it'll make you feel good and you thank them and move on with your day. It'll make you smile. But again, not the end-all, be-all. You want to wear fragrances for yourself. Don't just wear them for others, but it is nice to take others into consideration. That's where these mass appealing fragrances like Wanted by Night come into play. It's strong. It's seductive. It's not very unique, but it takes what's very popular and puts its own little spicy spin on it, which I've always respected about the fragrance. Even though the most wanted is my favorite in the line, there's no denying. The stuff works if you're looking for a beast that pulls compliments. It's cheap. Check out Azaro Wanted by Night. Synthetic and sweet. Crazy powerful. But works magic. If you're looking for compliments. I'm talking about Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male. It does the trick, guys. As advertised. Admittedly, I didn't get it the first time I smelled it. I tried it again on skin. Felt a little bit better about it. Time passed. I ended up just buying a bottle without trying it again. Ended up really appreciating this. I'm not going to sit here and say fell in love with, but I really dig this fragrance now. I didn't get the hype and all of the, you know, oh, this is a crazy compliment magnet, beast mode performer, amazing clubbing fragrance, all these wonderful things that have said about been said about this fragrance over the years. I didn't get it at first. I was like, wow, really this? But... That's the difference from a test strip and spending time on your skin. Now, it didn't get any less synthetic. It didn't get any less sweet. I've just been able to experience how it wears on my skin and how people love to smell this on my skin. <laughs> it is an affordable, at this point, it's much more affordable. I wouldn't call it a cheap fragrance by any means, but in the $60, $70 range, you can... When you get lucky, find 75 mLs like this. You're not going to find the big bottle for around that, but you can find 75 mLs, 55, 65, $70 range, which I think is a good price point for this because you're going to get your money's worth because of the performance. And if compliment factor is a very important thing for you, this one's got a strong compliment factor. The likelihood definitely goes up, but at the end of the day, you have to enjoy it because it's synthetic and sweet. And if you don't like very synthetic or you don't like very sweet, it's a combination of both. So at first, like I said, I didn't get it. But after spending time with it on skin, I totally get it. It's much more enjoyable than I thought it would be based off of a test strip for sure. So the test strips will lie. That's the biggest liar in the fragrance world is the test strip. Remember that. Because fragrances will fall flat. They don't really open up and tell the full story. If you don't spend time with it on your skin and see how it reacts to your skin chemistry and your natural oils, you never really fully get the experience to know if it's for you or not. That was the case here for me with Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male. As advertised, guys, everything you've heard over the years about it being a compliment beast that is an actual performance beast is all true. Check this stuff out if you've yet to. Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. Last but most certainly not least, I just wore this at the recording of this yesterday. I did get two compliments when I wore it. It seems to happen just about every time I wear it and go out in public. I'm not going to say it happens every time. I don't recall it happening every time I wear it. But it's such a mysterious fragrance that has a serious uniqueness because it's a masculine rose incense fragrance. This stuff's really good. It's a Haroff Signature Rosé. My favorite from the house. For good reason. I mean, you see the dent in the bottle. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fragrances. For me to make a juice level drop this much, and what for me, six or seven months is a short amount of time for a fragrance to lose that much of a juice level. That's remarkable. God, it smells so good. There's fresh Turkish rose. There's dark jammy Bulgarian rose. There's a gorgeous Olibanum Tears. 
that gives this nice warm, dark, deep, smoky character to this. It's a rose incense smell. Incense really pops on my skin. Sugarcane and vanilla bean provide this nice sweetness without being too sweet. It's very well balanced, and the oud featured here has more of a warm wood smell than a dominating oud smell. It's not your typical Middle Eastern oud rose fragrance. So when you hear oud and roses, no, 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 it's not that type of oud rose, rose fragrance. More of a rose incense. Sweetness, oud is like down there in the Accord ranking. That's why I say it comes across more of just a warm wood smell. This stuff is magnificent. I tell George on a regular basis, I don't know how he and Claude are going to top this. It's that good. And this stuff, easily, easily, on a hot day, in the middle of the summer in Texas, I'll get eight hours easy on this. Spring, fall, climate-controlled environments, 10-plus hours easily on my skin because this is one of those fragrances that you'll think is gone. Then you'll do something to get your activity level up. Your, skin, your body heat will rise, and it will start projecting again. You'll start smelling it like it's only two hours into the fragrance's wearing at the 10, 11-hour mark. This, it'll be there the next day if you're the type that showers in the morning. It'll be there the next day. This stuff, like I said, sticks to your skin like glue. And this is such an interesting, unique, and mysterious fragrance. I've had people stop me in my tracks at grocery stores to ask me what I was wearing. Because it's so unique. It's not something most people have ever smelled before. So definitely do yourself a favor and get yourself a sample. Check out the Zaharoff website. Of course, there's a link down below with a code for 10% off. Get a sample. There's 2 ml samples. There's travel sizes you can get. Or you can get your hands on a bottle. But definitely try this one out. Even if you're not a fan of Rose... This fragrance is the one that could potentially make you a believer. Definitely a beast that pulls in compliments because it's just so damn good and different. People want to know more about it when they smell it. That's the Haroff Signature Rosé. That's the 10 that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Do you have any of these fragrances that I featured here? Or what struck your interest? Now, this is all personal experiences of mine. Your experience will vary. No one person, no two people have the exact same experiences with the exact same fragrances. You know, there's more to getting a nice compliment than just wearing a fragrance that smells good. A positive outlook, you know, your attire, your, your personal hygiene, your aura. Your aura matters, guys, you know. God-fearing man, I'm not sitting here trying to say about all these other things, but a positive aura. People can feel your energy. And if you're putting off positive vibes, putting off some good vibes, you're going to come across as much more approachable and the likelihood of somebody wanting to tell you, hey, man, you smell really good. That's heightened as well. When you just have a positive outlook and some really good vibes coming off of you. Energies, it's a real thing. So until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the 10 that I featured here and you give them a spray now, there's a really good possibility that A, it's going to perform great on you, and B, somebody's going to want to tell you you smell nice. That's what the video is about, right? Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.